Hi, my name is Bob Mysick. Welcome to my online course, CNC and Guitar Making. I'm glad you're here. I hope you are too. Just a little background about me. I've been repairing and making electric and acoustic guitars since 1977. I've been using CNC in my own shop since 2010. With my machine, I've made fixtures, guitar bodies, custom inlays, fretboards, bridges, necks, and numerous other parts not related to musical instruments. I've learned a lot over the last 12 years, and I'm going to share a lot of what I've learned over those 12 years in this course. When I started using CNC for guitar making, there wasn't a class like this, and I wish there had been. I made a lot of very expensive mistakes, very expensive. In this class, I hope to teach you the things you need to know to avoid making costly mistakes on your own. I can't promise that'll happen, but I'm sure going to try and do that. You may ask yourself if using a CNC can help make you a better guitar maker, and I think the short answer is yes, if you know how to use it properly and already have good fundamental guitar building skills that you can build upon. A high quality CNC machine that is tooled up and programmed properly can hold tolerances as close as one one thousandth of an inch. Try doing that after your third cup of coffee for the day. Good luck! The ability to make more accurate cuts than you can do by hand is a game changer. But just as importantly, a CNC can make you a more productive guitar maker. One of the best things about using a CNC machine is that while the machine is running, you can be doing other things. It's like having a helper you don't have to pay. This course focuses on the use of Vectric VCarve Pro software for design and programming the CNC. The lessons presented in the course will also work with Vectric Aspire. Vectric VCarve Pro is recommended by several leading manufacturers of CNC machines and is designed for both personal and professional use. I don't have an association with them. I use their software and I use it pretty well. If you're watching this video, I assume that you have a CNC router and a licensed copy of VCarve Pro or Aspire with the appropriate post processor for your machine. I also assume that you've taken an appropriate amount of time to understand how the software works, how your machine works, and understand what you have to do to work with your CNC safely to avoid injury or to avoid injuring others. If you haven't bought a CNC machine or Vectric software yet, but plan to do so after watching these video lessons, please make sure that you're familiar with the operation and use of your machine and the software before trying to duplicate any lessons in this class. You see, safety is no accident. I can't stress this enough. Neither I nor LutheriAcademy.com assume any responsibility for injury caused to you or others as a result of your use of information and the lessons presented in this class. Safe use of any CNC that you work with is your responsibility, and I recommend that you follow the safety protocol taught by the manufacturer of your particular CNC machine. That being said, in this course I'll show you some examples of how to draw and program a CNC to make the following. Let's start with making a concave radius dish so you can sand in the radius on the rim of an acoustic guitar how to design and make templates that you can use with the router, how to make patterns for side bending, how to make a body form, how to make a complete electric guitar body, how to cut out a pick guard, how to make a bridge for an acoustic guitar. How would you like to take your logo and cut it out from natural shell and then inlay it into the material for a peg head, and do complex inlays for fretboards and make those pockets just the right size so there's very, very little gap. And then when everything's said and done, radius that fretboard perfectly, get those frets where you want. It's a big deal. People always ask, well, what about feeds and speeds? There's really not a lot of good information out there, but I'll give you suggested cutting speeds and feeds that will give you a good starting point for your own projects. 
I'll be covering different types of cutting tools available and why you might want to choose one type of tool over another. This course is designed to give you important basic and intermediate level skills that you need to use a CNC machine for guitar making. You'll be amazed at what a good CNC can do for you. So let's get cutting.